hello and welcome to our video and about automatic and click slideshow setting in powerpoint powerpoint is one of the most popular tools for creating presentation and slideshows and it comes with a lot of features to help you customize your presentation in this video we will be discussing two important settings in powerpoint automatic and click slideshow so we are going to start with the slideshow let's start with automatic slideshow as the name suggests this setting allow your presentation on automatically move from one slide to another without you having to manually click on each slide to set up a automatic slideshow so what do you do here i will open a powerpoint you can see so when i go to in the review and also i can use the slideshow now you can see if i click on the from beginning and start the show from the first slide so when i click over there then it doesn't come automatically then next when i click in mouse so it's come up the next slide same as other slide is coming so i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this slide with the automatically so how can i do that i'm gonna show you here you see this is the first slide and there is also the five slide so i'm gonna use this slide for automatically so how can you do that let's start when i click in here the first slide then go to the transitions and transitions you can see in here there is the about transition to this slide so how can you transitions to this slide so select from them here is a few you can just pick up a special effect for the transitions between the previous slide and this one so you can choose up from them like if i say the normal one like if i use the blinds so now you can see is the sliding and when i click over here in the right side you can see there is also the timing it's about the duration and there is the advanced light and it says the on mouse click and that there are options about the after so i'm gonna use for now like when i click on the blind so it's come the duration 1.6 seconds so if i want to preview it let's it's come within the 1.6 seconds then there's the option you can also use the effect options here vertical horizontal whatever you want to use but for now i'm just using the vertical one then next this is the first one then when i click over the second one now you can see they are also the same but it doesn't have the any transitions to the slide it say the none and it's also say the duration or the specific the length of the transitions then when i click on the some effect of the transitions and then it will work like if i say the rebel one now you can see it changed and it's come with the second one okay and now it duration is changed the 3.40 seconds so let's see with the slide preview when i click over the slide preview let's see and you say and click over then it's come the next slide okay but i'm gonna show you with the automatically so when i take out the on mouse click that means it's come with the automatically but the when it will come after when so when you select the second or like if i say four second so it will come after the four second from the first slide then when i click over here then you can see you say the on mouse click and if i take out that one so it's mean wait until a mouse click to move to the next slide when i click over there it will apply to this option but when i check out the one so it will not work but it's work with the after it means it will come after if i select seconds or if i just click over there like for five or four seconds so it will come up the after four seconds or 10 seconds so whatever you choose for your slide okay let's see with the first one let's click on there now you can see it's after then when i click over here and it say the four okay let's start with the slideshow click over the slide then let's say then it's take the time to come i didn't press any key or mouse on click so it's come up the automatically the next slide three here it's come okay 
but it only effect to the first and second slide let's see go back again here so what it say it's only effect to the first and second then after three it has only the on mouse click so you can do for the other the automatic slide okay then this will make your slide advance automatically based on the timing you have get up each slide you can also choose to loop your presentation or to have it run continuously until you manually stop it okay then if i want to use this setting to all the slide like the rest of slide three slide four slide and five slide so what i'm gonna do just click to the apply to all apply to the current slide transitions effects and timing settings to the entire presentation so when i click over here let's see so it's applied to all slides. like when i click in here it was not in there after now it's in here the settings and the next one when i click over here now you can see is the the first slide settings and also the last one you can see this is the first slide setting okay so it's very really easy to do just follow the step then let's start with if we shows up this uh, as a slideshow let's see how it will come yeah this is the first slide and we select the time the four seconds after four seconds it's come the second slide you can see in the corner there are also the slide number then next slide it's come up with the three seconds after three seconds uh, not click on the mouse just is coming up the automatically after the four seconds i select it as for the all slide it's coming okay then go back again here we learn so how to do the manually then we'll go back to again in our home tab then we'll use the slideshow setting so now let's move on the click slideshow click slideshow is the default setting in powerpoint it's automatically selected and it requires you to manually click to each slide to move forward to set up click slideshow simply just start your presentation and click the first slide like if i say this one and go to the transitions and here just click on on the on mouse click then it will come up the automatically you can also use the arrow key on your keyboard to move forward or background through your presentation like if you go to here and into the insert and use the arrow key if i use like this one and if i select and link to the slide one two like this just it will link one two or three or four and five slide if you link to this uh, it will link to the slide which you want for your presentation like this and also you can use the arrow key on your keyboard or or to move forward or backward through your presentation click slide gives you more control over the timing of your presentation and allow you to push pause or go back and previous slide if you need it so i think this uh, when i click in the transitions and click in over then and select the on mouse click and then if i go to the next one now it's you can see this is also selected after it means automatically so what i'm gonna do just go back here and use to apply to all then it will come up the on mouse click let's see here you can see now it's on mouse click the next one on mouse click and same as we can see this is the on mouse till the slide number five is selected on mouse click okay so that is for our video on automatic and click slideshow settings in powerpoint as you can see both settings have their advantage and can be used depending on your presentation needs automatically slideshow and that's it those are the automatic and click slideshow sitting in powerpoint i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thank you for watching